touching two feet tall and totally problematic. We could only be talking about tiptoes, baby. <laughs> This is probably one of the weirdest movies that we've covered on Fucked Up Film Club. I'm not even gonna make a joke here. I'm just going to read you the plot. Carol, played by Kate Beckinsale, is a talented painter and independent woman who falls in love with Stephen, played by Matthew McConaughey. But when Carol finds herself pregnant, it forces Stephen to expose his darkest secret, his family, who happen to all be dwarves. That's the movie. Are you and Steven uh, blood brothers? We're twins. Sometimes at Fucked Up Film Club, when a movie is truly weird and truly fucked up, it may just benefit everyone here to just know the facts. Gary Oldman plays Matthew McConaughey's twin brother and, yep, is acting on his knees the entire time. He's basically doing that thing we all did when we were five before we knew it was offensive, where we take our older brother's shoes and we put them on our knees. He's doing that. Peter Dinklage, fucking Tyrion Lannister, plays a Marxist Frenchman. I am French! Oh, I just wish I had this fucking clip. Oh, just you wait on the clusterfuck of celebrity cameos that are in this piece of shit. You better back off, Goldie Hawn. My man can do what he wants to do. At one point, Kate Beckinsale's character asks if dwarves can feel pain. Being a little person hurts? And have at it with your own drinking game every time a character says, it's the little things that matter. I'm pretty sure that was the tagline for this movie. Why do you watch this movie? Because despite the fact that it's an un-PC POS, you know what that stands for, it's kind of like taking a time machine back where Matthew McConaughey never left a saliva stain on a Lincoln Town car and Peter Dinklage never got frisky with some dragons and Kate Beckinsale never aged because she's never aged. Just now realized she's probably part of the Illuminati. Well, Kate, if you are a looper, um, please kill the version of yourself that made this movie. Ass. Or at the very least, kill the art department's blind, right-handed second cousin who made this piece of art while going through an anaphylactic shock. Oh, no, he, uh, he left already. That's a spicy meatball. Who do you watch this movie with? Literally anyone that talks shit about True Detective Season 2. Yes, it did not have Matthew McConaughey. Yes, True Detective Season 2 would have benefited from Matthew McConaughey. But you know what? After you watch this movie, you're probably gonna look at it with new eyes and go, I, uh, I was wrong about everything. I take back, I'm gonna delete all my Facebook posts, and I'm gonna call my mom because she deserves it. It's possible. It's definitely possible. What movie treats do you make? Well, tiny Sammies, of course. First, we're gonna start with some Melba Toast. Wow! Otherwise known as Tiny Toast. Do Morning not days. give to me this shit, all right? We're gonna assemble our savory Sammy, which has some uh, hummus here, and you can choose any hummus you like. And we chose buttered lettuce, and you can just dab it on there. And you don't wanna put too much on there. You just want enough to give the idea that we're making a tiny sandwich. Ooh, look at that. And doesn't that look like just the cutest little, like a little mouse would come up and eat it or, you know, Gary Oldman's character? Our other toasts are gonna be PB and jelly. That's pretty straightforward. You can see what we have here. You can scatter them, you can mix and match, and your guests are gonna think that you were in the kitchen for hours and hours and hours, but joke's on them. You spent literally two seconds. Don't go ripping off food now. God wants me to Months. eat. Four words to describe this movie. Dinklage, McConaughey. Beckinsale and Oldman are all great performers who deserve much better. Here at Fucked Up Film Club, we like to keep our finger on the pulse of future fucked up films, and this week we're talking about the movie Geostorm. Why is this movie fucked up? Well, because it's about a group of satellites that have been working together to keep climate change at bay, but when one of them goes down, Afghanistan goes under ice, and it's super fucked up because, <laughs> listen, in today's age, we don't need a movie about the hazards of global warming when every day is pain. Thanks for watching Fucked Up Film Club. Make sure that you subscribe to Snarl, wherever that button is on your screen. Check out our other episodes and comment below with the most offensive thing to you about this movie. I wanna hear about it. See you next time. Bye.